On today's episode, I'm working with the TK7 Go panel, showing you something a little different. We're going to do a black and white conversion. Hello everyone and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, we're going to make a black and white conversion of this image today using Tony Kuiper's Go panel. To give you a little bit of a background for this tutorial today, yesterday I was able to sit in on a uh, Zoom meeting with Tony Kuiper and Steve Dell and they were just going over various different things that you can do with uh, Tony's panels. And one of the things was that we can turn our images into black and white using Tony's panel. And it does a really good job. And I want to show that to you today. I knew you could do this, but I kind of haven't done that in a while. And I thought, yeah, I need to make a video on that. So that's what this is today, showing you how to make black and white images using the TK7 Go panel. Now this is really easy to do and it's a lot of fun. So all you need to do is come up to the TK7 Go panel and let's click on this first icon for the lights, midtones, and darks, luminosity mass. So click on this and immediately it gives you a lights one uh, mask and that's what you're gonna use. You don't have to go to any of these other different uh, masking options here, okay? Stick with a lights one. Now the cool thing about this is we have these different color channels here, okay? We have our standard red, green, and blue, but then we have cyan, magenta, and yellow. But this is where the power comes into the black and white conversion using Tony's panel. Now there's many ways of doing black and white conversions. One of my favorites is Silver Effects Pro. Another one is using uh, gradient maps in Photoshop. And then, of course, now we have Tony's panel. At the meeting the other day, Tony also mentioned, in fact, he showed us how to do another type of black and white conversion using Photoshop calculations. It's really a cool thing to do, and I'll, that, I'll save that for an upcoming tutorial. But today, we're using Tony's panel to give us a black and white conversion. So let's come up to our channels here. Now, here's where the power is in these channels. Now, of course, we have the first channel, which is luminosity, which is a combination of red, green, and blue, all the channels together. Now, remember, red, green, and blue make up all the colors in Photoshop, okay? But that's a combination of all three. And then we can see what the red channel looks like. And what I'm trying to do here is, you notice the change? I'm trying to find... Uh, something that appeals to me in a black and white image. Now, I'm not thinking luminosity mass right now. I'm only thinking of a black and white image. Okay, so there's red. Let's see what green looks like. And I'm trying to find one that really speaks to me. Now, the flower is very dark. And so I'm looking for a lot of contrast. I like a lot of contrast in my black and whites. And that's given it to me, but I think I want my flower lighter. So do we have a channel that can do that? Let's go to blue. Ah, look at that. That right away strikes out at me. And I like the stark contrast on this particular channel, blue. So blue is winning so far. Let's try cyan. What does it give me? Kind of flat, not liking that as much. Now let me go to magenta. Uh, magenta is a little more subtle than blue. Let me go back to blue. No, it actually isn't. It's pretty close, isn't it? But notice the difference in the center of the flower right here. Let me go, I'm on, I'm on magenta, let me go back to blue. I do like blue because I like that contrast in the center. So that's winning so far. And let's see what yellow looks like. Again, another dark flower. But that light center, a lot of contrast, but no, I'm going to go with blue. That was pretty simple, right? And very easy, but I like blue, but choose a color channel that works best for your vision. Now, what I need to do secondly is modify this, uh, we could call it a mask, but in my case, it's not. It's my black and white image, all right? I'm using Tony's panel for a different purpose. Let's go to the modify section. Now, right here, the only uh, thing I'm interested in is this uh, levels adjustment. This is nothing more than a levels adjustment where we can adjust the shadows, the highlights, and the midtones. Now, with this particular adjustment, I want to point something out to you. Say, for instance, I wanted to darken up the midtones. I would take this slider and I'd start to move it to the right. Now, when I start to move it to the right, you don't see anything happening. And the reason being is because you don't actually see things happen until you actually lift up off it with your mouse. In other words, I'm holding my left click down on my mouse and dragging this. As soon as I let go of the mouse, you'll see the adjustment. It's, you see the image gets darker, right? And that's going in the right direction for me. It's probably a little too dark, so I'm going to move this to the left a little bit. And 
second, maybe somewhere right around there. So I'm just like clicking and then I let go and maybe just a slight bit darker, maybe right there. I think that looks really good. What do you think? If you ever need to reset this, see this button right here, you can just reset by clicking on this. You have these other adjustments here that you can make, you know, painting with brushes and things like that, but I'm not really gonna use these. I'm only gonna use this uh, levels adjustment. And once you're satisfied with your conversion, now we need to output it to our layer stack over here. Now to do that, all we need to do, there's a special uh, icon right here, this guy right here. And if I hold my option or all key down and hover over it, mask to pixels, creates a new pixel layer on the layers panel of the mask preview. So Tony built this into his TK7 Go panel and it's also in his, in his new uh, TK8 beta. And we can turn uh, the mask into a pixel layer by clicking this. And there's our black and white conversion right there. Okay, so here's our original image. Here's our black and white conversion. Now we can go ahead and continue editing this image uh, using luminosity masks or any of the Photoshop tools. You could send it out into any plugins you want. You know, but this is a good starting point. I went ahead and renamed this layer black and white conversion TK7 Go because I'm going to shut it off. And now I'm going to introduce you to the TK8 beta uh, black and white conversion. All right, so let's open up the TK8 uh, beta. And uh, let's do the same thing. We're going to just open up the standard lights, mids, and darks, luminosity mass. And it defaults with lights one, which is exactly what we want. Now, again, we have the same capability, RGB. It, used, it was called LUM in the TK7. It's called RGB here. Same thing. It's a combination of red, green, and blue. This makes more sense to call it RGB, in my opinion. And then we have red. So let's see what red looks like. Green. Remember, I like blue, so here's blue, so I'm going to use blue. Of course, here's cyan, magenta, and yellow, and just go through them all and see what you get and pick the one you like the best. So we're going with blue, and here's the difference here in this particular um, uh, version, TK8 Beta. You have, not only do you have a levels adjustment, but you have a curves adjustment as well. I'm a big fan of curves, so I'm going to use curves this time instead of level. So let me click on curves. And with curves, I have my targeted selection tool and I have mine set by default. And if yours isn't, you can come up here and just check off this right here, auto select target adjustment tool, and that'll bring that up all the time. Now let's do some adjustments. Say I want to darken up this background a little bit. So I'm going to click right here and drag down and just darken that up a decent amount. I want to add some extra contrast to this image right about there. And I can bring my highlights up a little bit. Let me click right here and just bring up the highlights. Yeah, just a little tiny bit, maybe like that. And let me see where are these tones at right here. If I want to darken this up a little bit, let me click here and just drag down just a little bit. Yeah and just add that little bit of extra contrast in there. And I think that looks good. Now, all I need to do is output it to a pixel layer, and you're gonna find that icon right here. Output mask to pixels, click it, and now we have our second conversion. So here's our TK8, let me get rid of this. There's our TK8 uh, version right here. And here is our TK7. So let me see how close I got with these two here. Because remember, I used uh, levels on this one and I used um, curves on this one. This one's a little less contrasty. This one has a little more contrast, but I get a little more control with the curves. So I do like the TK8 a little bit better because now we can adjust with the uh, curves adjustment, which is really nice. Well, there you go. Black and white conversions using the TK7 Go panel or the TK8 Beta soon to be the TK8 panel. Uh, the TK8 gives you that curves uh, alternative there, which I really like, but both do a bang up job. So try this out. Hey, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon, and then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. Please like and share this video. It really helps my channel. It helps me to grow, and I thank you for that. I want to thank you all for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly, and I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.